Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Programming the Purpose. Today I'm going to show you how we can create intents that can then be handled by Siri and perform a certain action inside our app. Previously, my video showed you how you can open a certain screen of the app using Spotlight and App Intents. And here I'm going to show you how to mark a certain recipe as a favorite using an app, app shortcut, which can then be created using a custom intent and it can be handled using Siri. And we can simply do all of this task using a voice command with the Siri application. Siri does not work in simulator. So I'll just be showing you how the app intent is going to work with the shortcut. And uh, this is how it's going to work. So basically, I have marked a certain recipe as favorite. And when I go to the app, it is being displayed there. So first, we are going to create a new target from the file new target location here we are going to search about intents and we are going to add an extension here so i am basically naming here and the starting point i've set as none so here the extension is created you can see here that two frameworks are added and mark favorite intents ui and another folder mark favorites intent is created now I am adding a custom intent inside my first target explore Apple intelligence with the name of intent. So here I'm going to add an intent to my intent file. I am naming it here and then I'm going to start filling out the information on the right hand side for this intent. The category is do because we want to perform a certain task. Give it a title and a description. Next, I'm going to create a parameter that we want to pass to this application uh, shortcut. Here you can pass a default value. So I am passing here as an empty string. Here the Siri dialog, which basically Siri will say to request this parameter. So we are going to select the certain parameter when I have so it, you have seen here, it has filled some of the properties automatically. So here I am passing a code that is going to give the error, which means that if the string or name is empty, we are going to generate this error. Next, I am passing here a summary that how my intent or shortcut is going to be displayed. So this is how it's going to look like. It is showing you the preview of this shortcut. So next I'm going to fill in the response, which it means that a success and failure response, how it's going to look like. First, we are going to create here a property, which we are going to require when we want to show the success message. So here I'm going to show you that the, this specific recipe is marked as favorite. And in failure, I'm going to show you that we cannot process the request or some other message. Oops, recipe not found is the failure message. So next we are going to use the intent handler to write the relevant functions that we want to basically cater for this custom intent. So this is basically, you are going to see that the intent view controller is basically a UI kit code. So here I'm also showing you how we can basically use two type of codes, a code from Swift UI and UI kit in the same project. So first I have created an intent inside the override function handler. And next I'm going to create the handler, which is going to extend the mark favorite intent handling. It is going to give me an error. This is due to the reason that we haven't set the these two targets as a valid target for my custom intent. So I've done that. And now you are going to see that the errors are going to be removed. There are some stubs that are added for conformance to mark favorite intent handling extension. So I've removed the extra functions and I'm going to write the body of these two functions. First is basically resolve recipe name. If you have multiple parameters, multiple resolve functions are going to be added here. So I'm going to handle here the success and failure of this recipe name parameter. And mark favorite intent handler is going to handle the intent overall. And next, we are going to call it inside our override handler function. So follow all of these steps and write the handler class. 
so here i am getting the name that is basically passed to this intent inside the variable name and then i am going to search this name inside the list of recipe names that i passed here in a static array you can also fetch the data from our data class that i have added inside the target explorer apple intelligence but for that you will need to basically add a recipe um, struct as well and all of that code must be added so i do not want to duplicate that so i am basically just passing here the recipe names in normal cases this data can either be fetched from user defaults or core data swift data or in certain cases if it is being downloaded from the server so you are going to make here a server call so my data is placed locally so i have simply created a, an array to show you how it's going to work so here I'm going to search for user defaults and, and if it does not exist, we are just going to put in the data. Otherwise, we are going to iterate over the recipe names and find the relevant recipe name and add it to my user defaults. Why I am using user default with the suite name, I'm going to show you in a while. We are going to basically use app groups to share data between targets. This is the standard way. So I'm going to add app groups after this. So let's write the code. So here I am appending the content of the recipe data, which I have got from user defaults here. And I am going to set it inside the user defaults. Here you are going to see that I have made a little mistake. So I'm going to fix it in a while. Guess what is the mistake in this function? So the next thing is basically iterating over the names. And here I am adding the recipe name inside the function mark recipe favorite. So this is the major functionality that we are going to perform inside the intent handler. Uh, if you want to change the UI of the response as well as the intent, you can do all of that stuff inside the intent view controller of mark favorite intents UI. I'm not changing it. And next we are going to basically add app groups into the three of our targets. First is the target of the app. On the left hand side, you are going to see the three targets. Next, we are going to add the app groups to mark favorites intent and mark favorite intents UI. You are going to see here that I am just checking the relevant app group because I have added it previously. It is stored in my provisioning profile. And make sure you are going to click all on the top, not debug or release. If you are going to create different entitlements for debug or release, you can select a relevant field. But since we are going to create the app groups that are similar across debug and release, we are going to select all from the top. So here I'm going to create some of the functions, helper functions inside my class data, which are going to help us to basically return the recipes that are favorite. And these recipes will then be passed to content view. And when we are going to show you inside a tab view, the tab view is done previously. It is complete. We just need these functions and the data from our class data, which is going to then serve favorites to our main view. So the code is pretty much the same. We are going to get user defaults from our app groups. Next, we are going to get the recipes from my user defaults. Remember that we have just saved the recipe names and not the complete recipes. So we are going to iterate over the recipes get the relevant recipes where the name matches and store it inside an array to be then returned as favorites. So the, there are two functions. One is the function that is going to iterate over the recipes inside the class data and basically a nested function that is going to iterate over all the recipe inside our user defaults. This is the nested function.
So here I'm just returning the data inside my array recipe favorites, which is an array that consists of all of the recipes that are marked as favorite. There is a small error. I'm fixing it by adjusting the parenthesis. So it's almost done. So next we are going to first play our target mark favorites intent. But first we are going to donate this intent inside our main explore app intelligence apps class this is basically to donate all of the data from the app to our siri so that it is able to interact with it but since siri is not working in simulator you can skip this function as well if you are not interested here we need to pass a default recipe name you can either pass an empty string or a recipe name otherwise it is going to give you an error so follow all of these steps and write this donate intent and then call it inside your main class. So now I'll be playing the code with the relevant intent and here you can see there is a small error. So let's see how we are going to fix it. There is a problem in the intents supported inside our info.plist from mark favorites intent that the intent name is not mentioned here. You need to add it here. So I've added it just like this. If it's not present, add it manually. Otherwise, it will be automatically added. There was some issue with my project settings that is causing this problem. So once it is there, hopefully the error is gone. So you can see here that the error is gone and the code is running. Next, we are going to create an intent and see if it works perfectly or there is some issue. So we are going to go to the name of the application. We are going to pick the intent, which is mark favorite intent. On the information, you can see the relevant information for that intent. You are going to see here this line, mark this recipe. Uh, an empty string as favorite so we are going to add here the name of the recipe that we want to mark as favorite we can set a recipe properly or we can ask each time you can also create prompts here for the user with some extended code so here i am clicking and it is going to play the code but it has caused a little error this is due to this problem inside my intent handler so i fixed it and hopefully this error will be gone so I'm going to now quickly create another intent to see here that if it's working. So I'm added here the data quickly to see that if it works and let's see. And uh, we are going to play and this is marked as favorite. So we are done with the actual task of this app shortcut. Next, we are going to launch our app and see here if it's marked as favorite. This is the first time running the application so the favorite is not there so this is the problem with this function that i have mentioned previously to guess that what is the issue with this code so i haven't appended the name of the recipe there so again we are going to create a shortcut with the updated intent code and let's see if we are able to successfully mark a recipe and then we are going to show it inside so this is how the output looks like so it seems like it is now working perfectly so it is now added and you are going to see here that inside the favorites we have our favorite recipe so this is how intents are going to work there are small steps and small issues with this code that i have handled incrementally to show you the importance of each of the file and the functionality and the steps that we have followed to create these intents so here i am adding another intent shortcut with the name salad and we have now two favorites so this is all for this tutorial i hope you are able to learn it and understand the concept of intents here and these intents can simply be then handled using voice commands from siri so we are almost halfway there with apple intelligence and further updates in 
iOS 18 and Mac OS Sequoia, we are going to then launch our application that is then going to dig data from our app and suggest different type of actions on our app with the help of app intents. So I hope you have learned all of this this far and you are going to follow the next tutorials that will be coming up in almost uh, five to six months, hopefully after the updates that will be published by Apple. So this is all for now. Thank you for watching.